This is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Class Bludgeon. He is part of a two pack together with Whirl or Autobot Whirl. Uh, it's a Toys R Us exclusive two pack called the Masters of Metallicato. Uh, Voyager, uh, the Voyager, a Voyager Class Deluxe Class two pack. Uh, and Autobot Whirl is a repaint of Evac. While uh, here, uh, Bludgeon is, if you remember, is a repaint of uh, an earlier figure in, in the first movie called, his name is uh, Wreckage. He's still a Decepticon, uh, but had different colors. Uh, let me just show you my Wreckage. Okay. And here is Wreckage. Well, not entirely wrecked because uh, I did some kit bashing around him. I, I did. I was so frustrated with the uh, with the all white camouflage, Arctic camouflage, that I've uh, painted him with a little bit of ravaged black or metallic black, um, so that he he'd look a little bit more menacing. Uh, yeah, and he looks better in alt mode. He's like an all black uh, armored unit. Um, but, but all in all, it's it's really a great figure. You, you don't have to repaint him if you don't want to, but I did so that he wouldn't look like a snowman or a Santa Claus type. Anyway, um, yeah, he's a direct repaint. The Autobot symbol, uh, the Decepticon symbol is right where it, where it was, just a little bit bigger. Everything's the same except the paint. He even retains all the uh, accessories about him. Uh, from a metallic red and white camouflage to a army green and brown. Uh, all the transparent uh, plastic from uh, blood red has now become electric purple. Now Bludgeon is, uh, uh, believe it or not, used to be a G1, if, you were, if you're young enough, if you're old enough to remember, a G1 Pretender. Uh, pretenders were like, uh, they had this humanoid, this, this like, shape this shell that was like a human form and then when you split the shell open uh out comes a small figure that transformed uh his shell was like a it was like a human skeleton a skeleton of a human that was dressed in a samurai outfit or something like that uh and then inside was a a very simple transformer uh to transform uh he turned into a tank a real tank and his name was bludgeon um, he had the same colors, green, brown, and purple, but more more green and, and light brown. But this guy is more of an army uh, brown and, and green. So if you're old enough to remember that, I'm sure uh, this figure is going to bring a lot of nostalgia for you. Oops, sorry. Anyway, uh, uh, let me just talk about a little bit more about the, uh, the, the character before we go into the figure. I hope you forgive me for that. Um, uh, Master Metallicado. Metallicado is a, a cyber martial art, a Cybertron martial art, just like Circuit Sioux, but it, it, it is a physical and spiritual uh, martial arts training program that, that involved uh, focusing on blades or bladed weapons, or as uh, they describe, uh, bludgeons, katanas. I don't think these are katanas. They do snap back, uh, which they can be concealed. And then uh, they, they flip open. So instead of launching missiles, he just has a blaze that flip open. So let me show you the other feature. I mean, which was also present in the wreckage uh, figure. Uh, let me just stand him up properly. Uh, the blades do combine to form a, a double-bladed uh, weapon just like Darth Maul's uh, lightsaber which you can also attach in, a, in either arm which is interesting very cool but the, the blades won't hide so hold him away for now set him off to the side uh, talking about this figure uh, it does retain all the, the, the nice bits about uh, the wreckage figure I mean and, and with the with the absolutely gorgeous uh, new color scheme uh, articulation is the same. The shoulders go in and out, uh, move in and out. Yeah, they go forward and backward. They rotate 360 because they're on their own ball joints. Double joint and elbows. Uh, the wrists don't move. Oh, they move a little bit. 
yeah they move a little bit uh, no oh s some waist articulation head articulation is on a ball uh, heads on a ball joint hips are on ball joints uh, the knees bend forward and backward and the feet are on ball joint the feet would have been great to pose I mean just looking at them initially you would think he's a great guy to pose but he is actually very tough to pose because of all these spikes I mean you see he just rocks back and forth because of the shape of the feet. He's got those prowl feet, those angled feet, the triangular feet that makes it very difficult to pose him, but you'll have to find a sweet spot. He is most stable standing up because of the wide the wide area or, or, sur or surface area of the feet. But all in all, a very nice repaint. I mean, if you don't go for repaints, you might want to check this guy out and he might change your mind. Uh, uh, and you might actually want to get him if not for world I mean I think the two pack is worth getting because of this guy and world's not such a bad figure it's just that uh, you know I, I've, I've already had too much of the blackout mold so anyway um, very good very good figure I, I'm really happy with this figure almost all green you get some detailing here and there uh, I'm not exactly sure what what KN2764 stands for, but uh, write it down in the comment section if you do know. He's got a little bit of light piping, purple light piping. Anyway, um, he retains the gun right here, the electro gun. Same with the wreck. Oh, sorry. Same with the wreckage gun. Red gun right there. Okay. So to transform him, very easy. Um, a lot of things popping off here and there, but uh, they do pop. They do pop uh, right back in. So join the feet together. Uh, okay. Point the toes forward. A little bit of automorph, as is characteristic of all the uh, or most of the, the movie one figures. Uh, just fold the uh, sorry. Just fold the chest upward, and everything automorphs downward. Even the gun gets concealed and his, his alt mode gun pops up okay uh, what you want to do is pop the arms and then uh, pop the feet forward and then uh, let's see am I running out of time no okay and then there's a, a peg there that, that tabs into that hole right here there's a hole right there and the peg tabs in exactly the same as the wreckage figure. I mean, if you love the wreckage figure, you're going to love this one even more. Oops, sorry. Fold out the back door. And then uh, just tab it onto those tabs. Those pegs. Okay. And lastly, close this part. This, These things pop off easily when you transform them back to robot mode. But just, just be very careful so that you don't break off anything. Yeah. And there you have it. Uh, bludgeon in his uh, uh, Marine Corps LAV C2 alt mode very nice all the wheels almost roll up he has the same problem as, as wreckage the, the, the wheels do curve a little bit very a little bit difficult to roll but, but if you press it down they will roll uh, LAV C2 stands for light armored vehicle uh, C2 means uh, two C's, uh, command and control. Uh, it's not exactly a tank. It's an armored armored vehicle which ha which is armed with one gun. This is an M240 uh, machine gun, uh, which is armed with 1,000 rounds of uh, 7.69 caliber rounds. Very very powerful. A lot of stopping power for this guy. Uh, uh, he's good. He's good. I mean. I think he's worth getting uh, together with Whirl. I mean, if not just, I think he's enough reason to get the two pack. But uh, but if you don't want to shell out, you know, over fifty dollars, forty or fifty dollars just for a deluxe figure, then uh, I suggest wait for it to go on clearance. Uh, not exactly sure when he's going to come out in uh, on retail at Toys R Us, but he is a Toys R Us exclusive uh, together with Whirl. So there you have it, uh, Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen. Uh, deluxe class uh, two-pack uh, master metallicato bludgeon thanks for watching